Hey guys, quick tutorial. Today I'll show you how to connect your WooCommerce website with NNN so you can start automating your WooCommerce websites. Now, in order to do this, you need to have a WooCommerce website, obviously, and you need to have NNN. If you do need hosting or NNN, I will leave links to both of them in the video description. But with that said, let's get started. So the first thing that we'll do is go to our dashboard over here, and we're gonna go to WooCommerce. And if we hover over it, there it goes, I'll click on settings. The next thing that we'll do is we'll click on advanced. After we click on advanced, we'll then click on create an API key. Next, we'll put in a description. So I'll just put NNN automation. This is the user. This is essentially the admin of the websites. And then for permissions, you're going to select read and write and then click on generate API key. Once we have these keys, we're now going to hop on over to NNN. So let's say, for example, you want to start a workflow with NNN when maybe a product is created. You'll click on add first step. Here, we'll type in WooCommerce. Okay. And then here we have a bunch of triggers. So you'll select any kind of triggers you want. Me and my partner are actually gonna make a trigger where if you create a product, it's gonna automatically create a marketing video for that using Google VO3. It's gonna be really cool. Anyways, uh, right here, I'll put on product created. So essentially when we create a product, it's gonna start some sort of automation. And then right here, I'll go ahead and click on create new credentials. And this is where we're gonna enter in our information. So we're gonna put our consumer key and also our consumer secrets. So over here, consumer key, all right, paste this in. And then we also have our consumer secrets, okay? And then we're gonna take our URL and also paste it in here. Now below that, we have this option for include credentials in query. This must be selected in order for the automation to work. So make sure that this box is checked and then we'll click on save. Okay, and once that's done, the connection is tested and now you have successfully connected WooCommerce and NNN. So after you've entered in that information, you can now test the workflow and then you can create automations with NNN. If you have any questions about NNN or WooCommerce, let me know in the comments below. This was a quick video. With that said, I'll see you guys later.